Usually in a test of a car, I will show you how much there is space in the back, in the trunk. This time, however, it's the first time that I can actually walk upright in the trunk. But let's actually check out the outside first. Before you start uh, yawning and changing the video, hear me out. Later in this clip, I'll be showing you how this vehicle automatically parks and drifts. Yes, with the crafter. So, a van like any other van, right? They're all the same. But the crafter has some modern features, like the square shapes of the mask and optional LEDs. Talking about the shape of this thing is probably not really necessary because the whole point of these are to be blocky and big so you can put as much as possible inside. But Volkswagen still managed to, well, put a few interesting things on it, like these rear lights, for example. Perhaps this is minor, but I like the details on the lights. Anything to make the box more interesting. Depending on the chosen size of the crafter, it can fit in its belly 4 Euro 3 pellets in the smaller version, while the longer wheelbase one can take 6 of them. This will be made easier by the lower height as well. Because this is a work van, the floor is plastic and easy to clean, even if you enter and exit with muddy boots. They didn't forget about plenty of storage spaces, which are located in practical spots. The driver has plenty of optional extras, like the infotainment system or a heated steering wheel, which will be nice in winter days. There's lots of storage above your head as well. The crafter has wooden panels available, which will protect it from damage. The van is factory prepared to allow easy installation of various shelves, drawers and other tools. But now it's time to test the van's technologies. First, I tried out the parking sensors, which now detect obstacles not only at the back and front, but also on the sides, which is handy for a vehicle this size. With our tiny parking spaces, the automatic parallel parking system will be welcome as well, as it takes control of the steering wheel and does the job for you. The nice thing about it is that it won't have problems parking a larger van in tight spaces. Perhaps more interesting is the trailer assist system. If you're not used to reversing your vehicle with a trailer, you might be performing attempts like this gentleman. simply switch on the parking system and then control the van not with the steering wheel but with the side mirror joystick. If I turn it left, that's where the trailer will go and vice versa. A duo of reversing cameras will keep the trailer in check as well as give you vision on the infotainment system. I've actually never driven a vehicle with a trailer before, but I've managed to reverse this big box into the park spot pretty well on my first try. No problem. But what about the drifting I spoke about at the beginning? Okay, 
perhaps not drifting, but more like keeping control on a wet surface. Because white vans always traverse highways at pretty much the speed of light, the instructors gave the press a taste of what it's like when you lose control. Small, gentle corrections are needed, the rest is handled by electronics. A bigger challenge was when they turned on the water jets, which we had to avoid. The instructor mentioned that this is how you wash the underside for 5 euros. No, no, no. Wrong. My cameraman couldn't watch this anymore and wanted to show how a real man drives a working van. Okay. <clears throat> I said how a real man drives a working van. Quick reactions and gentle input is required. The van and its electronics will be quick to return to its intended path. Like this, it seems easy. The other secret is a correct posture behind the steering wheel, something we've learned from the BMW instructor in the BMW X5. You can watch that video if you click on it here. So, all that's left is to see how the crafter drives normally. How will the driver feel sitting there for countless hours every day? Mogoče najbolj zanimiva zadeva v temole crafterju pa je to, da Volkswagen noče več delati tistih stereotipičnih kombijev, ki je notri res osnoven, dolgočasen, neprijeten. Ta kombi je v bistvu znotraj kot en avto. Udoben, imate možnost pneumatskega sedeža, ker je fajn za tiste ljudi, ki se vozijo na dolge ture. Volan je praktično iz Golfa. Infotainment zaslan imate možnost let luči, možnost radarskega tempomata. Skratka, prijeten je notri, kar je še posebej dobra novica, se sem rekel, za tiste, ki so res veliko v svojih kombijih, recimo kakšni kuriri. The base model of the Crafter can be yours for just under 26,000 euros, but there's plenty of different sizes and designs to choose from. 